Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Sinaloa in Mexico. I'm here in Mazatlan and a couple of people want me not to come here because Sinaloa, the cartel, so it's dangerous apparently. Um, this is my first full day, so so far it looks fine, but I will find out in the next couple of days if it's alright or not and I will let you know. And today the plan is to do a little bit of street photography slash beach photography here. and. I will use the Leica Q to monochrome today again but before I head to the beach the idea was to go up to that viewpoint over that you can see there in the back and see what's going on there I think the view from up there might be really good so I would say let's do that first and yeah without further ado Sinaloa slash Mazatlan Leica Q to monochrome let's go It almost looks like the pigeons are lined up on a chessboard. When I went up there, I didn't know what to expect. The only thing that seemed obvious was a high probability of a nice view. So guys, I made it to the top. And now, sweat level is at 11 out of 10. But yeah, it was... Not as bad as expected. Hello, my friend. <laughs> it felt very surreal up there with 80s music playing, which I can't show in the video because otherwise I'm in trouble because of copyright. And the guys collecting money and making sure that you sanitize your hands before entering the viewpoint. It cost me roughly one dollar and in that moment I wasn't even sure if I had enough cash on me, which I luckily did. After checking out the view for a bit, was time to head back down. There I took an Uber to get to the beach to start shooting. Shortly after arriving at the beach, I came across this gentleman and I was curious to find out what he was doing. It's almost you're, you're talking to them, you know? Yeah. It feels like almost you're talking to them. Yeah. They, 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 they just say what I'm saying to them, okay? Yeah. After taking a few shots, I talked to him for a bit and he told me that he was doing this since 20 years. What a legend. Okay. Have a nice day. See you later.
Alright guys, one reason why I like to shoot on the beach is uh, because it's very easy to layer things because there's so much going on and a lot of it is stationary so it becomes easier to get more things in the frame that uh, so put some layers into the frame and make the photo a little bit more complex. That's why I really like to shoot on the beach and also um, if um, like here the sun is perfect. I mean it's very sunny. There's almost no there's nothing blocking the sun except maybe once in a while a cloud, but that's about it. So that's why I like to shoot on the beach. So while well, you're probably now wondering about the settings uh, that I'm, us I'm using here and uh, I basically shot most of the shots at f16 and I set the, um, the focusing distance to roughly uh, maybe a little over two meters so pretty much everything is in focus except if I get to want if I want to get really close then I set it to one meter and yeah I mean that makes things really easy I just have to frame the shot and I don't have to care about uh, autofocus and stuff like that. Other than that, uh, shutter speed 1.500. Um, uh, if nothing is moving and uh, yes, uh, there's not that much light, I might drop it down to, I don't know, 160, 125, whatever. And yeah, I saw set auto and usually I dial in one to two stops uh, under exposure just to make sure the highlights are not blown out. That's pretty much it about the settings. I mean, there's not much to talk about, but yeah. The sun is about to set maybe in an hour or so, so I will continue shooting and maybe I will get some more cool shots. Talk to you later. Maybe it's just me, but my head would explode when I had to listen to this for a couple of hours a day. Taking photos that day was a lot of fun. People were very friendly and absolutely nobody seemed to be bothered by me walking around with the camera and taking candid photos. It was rather the opposite.
<laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. That's the episode from Mazatlan in Sinaloa, Mexico. And it wasn't dangerous at all. In the end, it was totally fine. I had a wonderful, wonderful time. And watch out because there's more episodes coming from, uh, from Mazatlan. And they are absolutely crazy. And especially the one I shot at night, uh, that turned out really great. So watch out for that. Uh, and now, you know, now it's time to show you my favorite prints from this episode. And also, as always, you can win a print. But... As you might remember, while I was still in Mexico, I told you, hey, you can pick whatever photo you want from the episode and I will ship the winner a print uh, for free worldwide on some really nice um, fine art paper. But before, the, before I went to Mexico, I just uh, sent the, my, my favorite prints that I picked from the episodes to, um, to you. But I think maybe it makes more sense that you can uh, choose your own because these are more generic prints, not fine art paper. And yeah, I think it makes more sense if you pick your own favorite and then I will ship it to you. And you probably know how it works. Uh, just leave a comment below the video. The first 24 hours this episode goes live and I will pick a random winner and then you can choose whatever photo you want from the episode and I will ship it to you for free. So without further ado, let's check out my favorite prints from the episode. All right, guys, before I show you my favorite prints, um, please also check out my street photography zines if you haven't already with uh, street photography from all over the world. This one, the x one one or my zine 28 that I shot in Cairo in Egypt with my Leica M6. So the link will be in the description box down below this video. All right, guys, here are my favorite prints from the episode and remember you can win one of those or some other print you like or photo you like from this video so this is the first one and what i like about the scene is um this almost looks like uh i don't know like a, a checkerboard <laughs> almost like that the, the uh, pigeons are playing chess they aren't but for some reason this reminded me on uh chess so when i saw this i had to take it so this is the first one. Second one is this one here and it's this silhouette of the guy walking along the beach and what I like here is that you can see his footprints and because of the red filter the sand and everything looks fairly dark and the guy is like a nice silhouette so yeah I'm happy with this one. And on to print number three and it's this one here. It's this family um, having a nice time on the beach right around sunset. And I like how they are spread out here and they are nicely framed by these uh, umbrellas here. And also what I like this, um, the hotel in the background, the building that looks uh, pretty cool in this instance. And especially in black and white, I think this turned out pretty well. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one. I mean... <laughs> they probably had no idea what I was doing when I took the photo, but yeah, it was uh, funny because as you can see, they smiled, so they were totally fine with me taking the photo. They had a good time. All right, on to the next one. And it's this one here with the, the guy. It almost looks like he's, I don't know, sword fighting or something. Um, I like how, he's, uh, how his posture look, looks here in this image. And also because the sun is very low you can see all the the nice structure and the sand here on the beach and yeah i think this one uh, works pretty well and now i would like to show you my favorite one from the episode but the problem is i forgot to send it to off to the printer but i will because of that i will just show you the digital file here so now what i like about this image is it's very obvious it's a guy feeding the birds and he was such a legend i can tell you he was amazing and I like that there's actually three birds in the frame. One is just grabbing, I think, I assume it's fish, grabbing the fish from the stick. And the next one is lined up just short, I mean, I don't know, maybe one or two meters behind it. And there's another one on the left side and a lot of other birds in the background. And also you can see the city in the background. And what I also like is that the guy is... Um, 
his his uh, leg is up in the air and his uh, his arms are spread out so to keep the balance and I mean I don't know if you can I don't remember if you can really see it in the video but this moment only lasted for a split second because uh as you <laughs> I mean it's hard, not hard to imagine that the bird was pretty fast but this frame just I don't know frozen in time I like it it's pretty cool so this is by far my favorite one from the episode. I took more photos in this scene that you haven't seen in the video, but more on that uh, a little bit later this year, hopefully. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.